auto fanatic so this video is going to be the very first detailing video on the ferrari f355 berlinetta so we're going to be taking off the wheel and tire assembly on the front driver's side we're going to pull it off i'm going to show you how i'm going to clean it decontaminate it and you guys are going to be blown away how well the original finish after 26 years on these magnesium speedline wheels looks so so this is actually really exciting you guys wait till you see how clean this car is for 26 years old <laughs> So there's also some sticky adhesive left from some wheel weights over the years, and I'm going to pull that off as well. Okay, so usually the last one, you hold it. There we go. Pop the so wheel off. get started, I have the wheel stand from the Source Garage that I'm using today. The reason I'm using this instead of the smaller one is because this wheel and tire assembly when you stand it upright on the ground, it wants to tip over towards its face. So I really don't want to risk having this topple over and damage a very expensive classic Speedline Ferrari wheel. So we're going to get started with uh, the Autofanatic Professional Wheel Cleaning Foam. I have my foam at 5.0 with four ounces in there. So I'm going to foam it up and we're not using a pressure washer. We're doing everything by hand the slow way. So here we go. Give it a quick coating, and then we're going to go in and kind of get in there and clean everything up. But these wheels are in really good shape. Wait till you guys see them. I was so happy with the results when I did the other ones on the car. I just said, you know what, this is probably going to be a good idea to uh, shoot a video for you guys because I think it's an exciting car to work on and definitely an exciting car to show you guys. You guys can see closer. The Autofanatic wheel cleaner is breaking up all of the Brembo brake dust and these wheels are 100% original these are not refinished and you could tell from looking at the finish because a lot of guys when they refinish these they powder coat them and they have excessive orange peel and the color is totally off these are 100% original speedline wheels made in August of 1994 so we're just gonna go like that Then we're going to do the tire at the end. You guys know if you watch my content exactly what I do with the tire. Okay, so we're good there. And you guys could see. Let me just get the camera and I'll show you guys. So that's the Autofanatic wheel cleaning foam on the Ferrari 355 brake compound. You seen it right there. Works outstanding. Got four ounces in the foam at 5.0. So I'm just going to give this a quick rinse. Okay, so the face of the wheel is spotless. Now there's some little residue that's inside here. And I'm gonna show you guys, after we wash the wheel, how I'm gonna go about cleaning that. So the back side is really the fun part to clean. You got it. So let's get some more foam on this bad boy. Okay. So we're just gonna grab the bores here wheel cleaning brush and I could feel that there's some contaminants on here from asphalt and this wheel stand works well depending on the type of clean that you're going to do now these wheels when they're these are manufactured it's dry and rough cast right here so you'll see it when this rim is clean that it's going to be a dark spot and that's the way these were originally All the way around the rim okay now the fun stuff we're gonna get some more foam you know how much I love foam and we're gonna make sure we get all the detail where all the casting numbers are I don't know I'm a stickler for that stuff when I'm doing this stuff and this is gonna be just one video there's gonna be so many more videos um, detailing this car because the goal of this particular 355 Berlinetta I would like to show it at Cavallino in 2021 in the preservation class. That's how good of a car this is. So all these little things that I'm doing to it, you're going to see from little replacements of hardware and little trims here and there, it's just going to take the car up to a much higher level. 
and that's what I call concourse level detailing. See, on new cars, you, know, you can't really do stuff like that because you know it's you just paint correct and you clean your interior and you, you know drive along your way and that's it. But on something like this, that's older and it's preserved, very well preserved. That's where you can kind of go in there and have a little bit more fun, you know, detailing. And these work stuff detail brushes are great. If you guys uh, haven't picked any of these up, I suggest you go online. I know uh, somebody's importing them now in the United States. I believe they're in Chicago, so they're available. Okay, let's give that a rinse. All right. You can see all that dirt that's coming off. And you can see how the wheel's clean. You can see how this is rough cast right there, so it's not smooth. Now, there's a couple of spots, because I'm absolutely out of my mind. I just want to do a little bit better. Uh, this, to me, this relaxes me. If it wasn't 98 degrees outside right now, I would be enjoying this a lot more. But, you know, the sun went down. It's towards the end of the day, late afternoon. And, wow, you can really see the speed line stamping right there. So if any of you guys are in the Ferrari world or understand, the Cavallino is one of their largest uh, Ferrari exclusive gatherings in Palm Beach, hosted at the Breakers. Uh, usually after the holidays in January and it's a really awesome show and a lot of my clients go and uh, if you if you're into Ferraris that's the one you want to go to and like I said we'll see if they have it for 2021 I'm pretty sure they will and uh, this car would be really exciting to uh, to bring it down there and do the event with Now these wheels are magnesium, so magnesium absorbs water. So if you were to strip these wheels, like a lot of guys would sandblast these and go powder coat them, and that's why the finish usually gets all mucked up because you gotta be very careful uh, refinishing magnesium. And magnesium also ignites very easily, believe it or not. This came out really nice. I, I just can't believe these wheels are 26 years old. Cool. So I'm going to let this dry off and we're going to move over to the next step, which you guys so are going to Next enjoy. step, we're going to do, we already did a thorough clean on it. And like I said, we're going to get all these stickies off as well. But what I like to do is I take just a dirty microfiber towel and I use odorless mineral spirits. What this is going to do, it's going to help loosen up a lot of those tar deposits that are stuck inside the barrel. And you kind of get this from, you know, driving on asphalt that's being paved and all the crazy roads that we have all over the country. So go around the edge. And you can see it's taking all that junk off. We're going to hit it next with the uh, Meguiar's Professional Clay, but we have to get all the decals. Uh, I hate when tire rim shops do this, when they mount and balance new tires for you and they never take off the, uh, the residue. Now, there's a process. You could use a high-speed rotary tool with a rubber wheel. Um, I just don't like using that because it puts rubber dust all over your face, and I'm just not a fan of that. I'd rather just use my method and my fingers. A little scratch right here but it's actually something that can be polished out and we're gonna work on that as well so there we go I got that done I just can't believe the condition of these wheels I mean there's cars that are on the road today that could be like two years old and the rim finish is far worse than this uh, speaking of my Alfa Romeo Giulia which the rim finish is absolutely destroyed and trashed uh, by the design of the rims and driving in New York. And this is the best part of having uh, 
an older car like this. So uh, we're done with that. Now I'm going to take my gloves off and we're gonna move over to uh, getting the decal. Okay, so my method of usually getting this off is warming it up and then just pushing it off with my thumb and then gonna get the residue with the mineral spirits. So we're just gonna heat up each one individually. You wanna take your time. You don't wanna use a razor blade. You don't wanna use a scraper. And you can see it'll just crumble. You can use your fingernail, you know, if there's some of the foam is still left on there from the wheel weight tape. But your fingernail is gonna be a lot better than using like a sharp object. And you can just see it right there, it's just coming right off. And then what I usually do, I take my thumb, and you see that right there? I hope you guys pick up on this little tip. So use the heat gun and use your thumb. Don't be scared to hurt yourself. I mean, I work with my hands every day, so my hands are kind of trashed and I'm used to it. So let's get off this one back here. Okay. Same process, Just use your thumb. And this one's got some more foam on it, so we're just gonna use our fingernail. I think there's just one more after this. I gotta rotate this guy around and see. But you can see that there. So in a matter of seconds, it comes right off. Now, we got, we got one over here, one over here. So let's do this one. This is different tape. And this stuff just drives me nuts. I hate seeing this. Nothing, nothing drives me more nuts than looking through the barrel of anybody's car and seeing leftover tape from wheel weights. You couldn't even imagine. This just irks me like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so usually the white, I don't know why the white foam tapes are always the hardest to get off. I just don't understand why. Take some mineral spirits. There we go. There we go. That's it, gone. You can see all the residue on the towel. All right, so the next step, we're gonna do some further decontamination with Meguiar's Professional Aggressive Detailing Clay. I always use the aggressive when I'm doing this on wheels, whether it's a Mercedes, BMW, or Porsche, or Ferrari, just because it seems to work the best. This is a very nice finish inside here. A lot of OEM wheels, uh, by today's standards, they're very dry inside the barrel. So this is a, a fresh jar. We're just gonna break off a piece, or we're gonna keep the rest in there. And to lubricate the surface, we're gonna use Autofanatic 007 Gloss Enhancer, which works absolutely outstanding. We're just gonna completely saturate the wheel liberally. We're not gonna be cheap because we wanna do a good job. And you could see it already. Even though the wheel was clean, that just came off with one quick pass because a lot of these particles they get embedded into the finish. And sometimes you can't see them and sometimes you can, but we're gonna take this up several, several notches because we're gonna clay it and then we're also gonna go in there with the G8 polisher. We're gonna go even further. So you can see this there already. I mean, this is totally wrecked just with one quick pass. All right, guys, so the next step after claying Auto Fanatic secret weapon. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna shake it up. I'm just gonna use the same dirty microfiber towel because we're working on the backside of wheels. We're not working on the paint of the exterior of the car. We're just gonna put some on a towel. I wanna prime the towel up well. And uh, we're gonna try to go in there. And this is taking every little last bit that you can miss completely off. And you're gonna go into here, to those little recesses. Actually, I gotta grab my uh, nylon right, wedge so tool. I got my nylon wedge tool. I actually have these on my website and I did a video. So you just take it like that and you're able to go in, 
to areas where you just can't put enough pressure with your finger, especially like in the back over here. And what the secret weapon is going to do, it's going to eat up any of those contaminants. I decided not to wear gloves right now because it's just so hot. My hands keep sweating and it gets kind of really gross just like that. So I'm going to go around the perimeter of the rim. And like I said, I'm not going to keep you here for another 20 minutes while I do this. And uh, we'll move on to the next steps. All right, guys, now we're on to the polishing stage. I'm going to be using my Griot's Garage G8 with a microfiber cutting pad with no interference pad, so there's no foam on the back of this. We're gonna be using the Griot's Garage Fast Correcting Cream. Just gonna load it up, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm just gonna prime the pad like this. Now we're just gonna give it some nice smooth passes just to really refine all the work that I already put into this. And it's gonna bring out the luster. So we're gonna start out slow speed and you're gonna to want to let the tool do the job you don't want to go crazy like grinding into the surface you know these are old wheels it's an old finish finished and you could see in the camera the luster that this finish already has so we're gonna hit it with some 007 gloss enhancer get any of that polishing residues off Wow see that little pass with the Griot's G8 and the fast correcting cream I mean it looks incredible you could see the reflectivity look at the look at the reflection in the wheel so before we go over to the front of the wheel before we do that i want to clean the backside with odorless mineral spirits i don't dress the backside of my tires so yeah, watch my that. content if you guys are new here for ferrari 355 content i've been using odorless mineral spirits to clean tires since i'm a kid and it just works you don't need a scrub brush you don't need to hose it down and go crazy so you just saturate a towel and you're going to go all through the backside and you can see right there, it's taking everything off and it's gonna make the back of the tire fresh. So it's gonna take off the mold release agents from manufacturing, any kind of crap that sits, because when you wash the car, all the dirt goes through the backside of the wheel and sometimes sits and it actually causes browning and staining of the backside of the tire. And I don't know, I work in my cars a lot, so the wheels and tires are always off the car and it just drives me nuts. And a little tip, like I said, a lot of these tires today have a little bit of a edge guard. Just take your finger and fold the towel and kind of go in there just like this and it's going to clean all that area out as well so you don't need any more tools you don't need any brushes and that's pretty much it so you can see it already that's just with a quick pass with odorless mineral spirits the tire looks brand new fresh there's nothing on it there's no browning and all the mold release agents have been removed fun part colonite 476 super double coat so this is a synthetic blend wax and i use this stuff for winter and also to coat wheels. Now, I don't recommend doing a coating on classic cars or something of this vintage because you don't know if that coating is gonna react with the factory finish. And I'll talk about that in some upcoming videos when I get into the paint correction of the 355 Ferrari. And we'll discuss that a little bit further. But like I said, uh, the exterior of the car is single stage paint. And this is also like a single stage paint. This is not a clear coated finish. And like I said, it definitely makes sense now, if you went through all this trouble of doing what I showed you in this video, to throw a coat of protectant on there. All right, so we waited a couple of minutes for this to flash, the Colonite 476. We're gonna take a clean microfiber towel and we're just gonna lightly polish it off. And you could feel it when it's ready to come off. It just feels so slick. So you guys are going to enjoy uh, the final results when I show you, and now we're going to move over to the front side of the wheel. But the back side of the wheel needs the most attention because that's what's not being cleaned regularly unless you take them off the car, like I show you here. Any stubborn spots, just hit it with some 007 gloss enhancer. Go in there. And these wheels look absolutely phenomenal. So any little polish or whatever you get, there's like a little bit of a rubber boot here just want to make sure you get that off and get that clean as well okay 
Cool. All right, let's move over to the yeah, front side the stuff. You get to see the uh, Prancing Horse logo. So we're just going to be using some Auto Fanatic secret weapon on a clean part of the microfiber towel. And we're just going to go over all the spokes. And this is going to give it a deep clean and pretty much an initial polish. Now, if you see any stubborn spots, you know, you just go in there and get them out, just like I'm showing you here. So I'm going to knock that out, and then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to clean up inside the lug pockets because that tends to be a much more tedious task, and that is also one of the things that irks me the most. Guys, so the face of the wheel is completely clean. The backside is decontaminated, polished, clayed, protected. We're done, including the tire. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using 3M Perfected EX rubbing compound with the microfiber towel and my nylon tool to go in there and really clean out inside the lug pockets. Now, the reason I'm using this product, it's a little bit more aggressive as far as how it'll deep clean the surface, and especially on wheels, it works phenomenal. So it's a much thicker consistency. Just rub it in like that. Wrap your tool around it and you're gonna go in there just like this. And you can see everything that's coming out. Because even though you could go in there and cleaning it with a brush or maybe with some solvent, I don't recommend doing that. I recommend doing this because the fine micro abrasives inside the 3M Perfect It, it actually really helps because inside the pockets, the finish is also a little dry, okay? That's just by manufacturing standards. I got my little paint easy dabbers for touch up paint. So I'm gonna just dip it in a little bit of Auto Fanatic secret weapon because there's a little bit of a lip where these inserts are pressed into the wheel. And I wanna make sure that I get all in there with this, just like that. It's all in the details, guys. I mean, like I said, this is the fun part of being obsessive and being a fanatic about detailing because anybody could do a quick slopped up job, but it takes a certain number of precision and passion. And passion for me is why I do all of this and everything that I do that you see on my channel. So easy dabber, nice little tip. Just dip it in some Auto Fanatic secret weapon. And now we're ready to put Final stage, Colonite 476 application. Just go over the spokes liberally. Nice even coat. Make sure you get inside the pockets that you just cleaned out because these things tend to be a bitch and they get accumulated. And unless you take the wheels off the car several times a year and do what I just showed you in this video, your wheels are not going to look this good. But I tell you one thing, for 26 years, these wheels are freaking incredible. I, I just can't get over the original finish. I'm still blown away by it. Even the center caps, they usually get delaminated and all nasty. Go in there. And that's it. So we're gonna buff it off in a couple of minutes. Last step, cleaning the tire with odorless mineral spirits. And then the final step is gonna be mounting it to the car, lowering the car down, and giving it a coat of Auto Fanatic Hull Shot Professional Tire and Trim. And I'll show you guys the finished results in a couple of minutes. Guys, we're all done. Before I bolt it on the car, I just wanted to give you a close up and go around the wheel. You could see the results that I achieved in this video using very basic concepts and chemicals, nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. Everything is readily available. And also put links to all of this stuff if you guys want to buy it. Guys, I'm all done and uh, the results speak for themselves. So let, just, a, just a recap of what we used. Greer's Garage Fast Correcting Cream, Auto Fanatic Secret Weapon, 3M Perfected EX, Rubbing Compound, Colonite 476, Boar's Hair Detailing Brushes, the Auto Fanatic Wheel Cleaning Foam, four ounces to a gallon in the foam at 5.0, Auto Fanatic 007 Gloss Enhancer, Meguiar's Professional Red Detailing Clay, several microfiber towels and odorless mineral spirits, and I'm using my Source Garage detail stand. So just want to give you guys a close up. You guys can see that there. The finish is absolutely phenomenal. 26 year old original finish Speedline wheels on the 1995 Ferrari 355 Berlinetta. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires are decontaminated and cleaned with the odorless mineral spirits. You can see that there. Absolutely concours perfection. So I'm gonna get it bolted on the car, get a coat of Auto Fanatic Hole Shot Professional Tire and Trim, and I'm gonna show you guys the car, and it's all down on the ground, so stay tuned. So got the wheel bolted on the car, gonna give the Auto Fanatic Hole Shot a good shake. This is a silicon dioxide product. I'm gonna apply it to a microfiber 
wax applicator and give it the final once over. Oh, the results are just absolutely incredible. I can't wait to get, I give you guys a visual when I pull back the camera and give you guys a close up of the results. So let me just finish this up and I'll show you guys These in a minute. Guys, all finished. You can see the results. This is Concord level detailing right there. Looks freaking incredible from the tires inside the spokes. Look deep inside the lug pockets. Absolutely flawless. 26 year old original finish Ferrari Speedline F355 Berlinetta wheels. So hope you guys like this video. Thanks so long for watching. If you guys want to see more detailing videos on the 355, post it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And also please subscribe and support the Auto Fanatic channel and brand as well. Visit autofanatic.com. And like I said, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content. This is a very, very cool project. I love working on older cars. Love working on cosmetic Concord level restoration work. And like I said, this car is just the very beginning. This is the very first detailing oriented video that I'm showing you guys on the new car. And uh, so stay tuned for more content. There's gonna be a hell of a lot more from chassis detailing, hardware detailing, interior detailing, and a very 10 step elaborate paint, paint correction process that's coming up very soon. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video real soon. And please subscribe to the Auto Fanatic channel and I'm gonna go out and enjoy the drive.